Well, we say welcome back. Thanks for joining us. I know you all have felt it all morning long. Those earthquakes, they're waking us up. On the phone with us this morning, Chief Meteorologist David Payne. David, you live pretty close to where this is all happening. Uh, you know, yeah, Tavis, it's, uh, it's about three miles. Uh, east northeast of uh, where we live in East Edmond, and uh, I was at work last night, obviously. And uh, the first uh, earthquake was what 9:37, and so in between 9:37 last night and this morning, we've had what roughly 15 mm -hmm. uh, earthquakes, and um, that's called a swarm. And that's when you get a lot of earthquakes, you know, small, bigger, whatever, that are in a concentrated area. And that's what we started with last night. A couple of the first one or two were small. And uh, and then the the one after that, I think last night was a 4.4. Then obviously we had a 4.4 again uh, earlier this morning. So, you know, the the swarm or the little earthquakes that came out first, um, it, you know, it's just a release of pressure uh, in the fault lines under the ground, whether it's one, two, three, four, five, six miles down. These all range in depth. That's why sometimes it feels like a jolting bolt, like a boom. And other times it's kind of a rolling and you can hear it coming. But what's crazy is uh, in our little uh, weather thing with uh, uh, our meteorologist, uh, Lacey was talking about, you know, bringing back flashbacks from 2009, 2015. Edmond lost power in 2015 of January because of the magnitude. It shook the uh, power station so hard. We lost power twice. So not looking forward to that. If that were happening in the cold air we have right now, but um, you know, uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, like you were saying, it doesn't look like that it's uh, human-induced. We do have many, many fault lines across Oklahoma, many. And uh, we have earthquakes. We naturally have earthquakes in Oklahoma. But, uh, wow, if you live in Edmond overnight, good morning, because we've been up together all night long. So uh, what, a, what a morning, and hopefully these will... You know, just like anything in life and in weather, they come and go. You have ups, you have downs, and hopefully these will, these will start to uh, subside. But uh, uh, Bobby Miller, she lives right at the epicenter, and I know she was texting us last night, and she had pictures falling off the wall. I've had people message me on Facebook, pictures falling off the wall in East Edmond and uh, things like that. We did not. We don't have any pictures on the ground. I came home last night, looked for cracks. My wife called me during the 10 o'clock and was like, what? And, and I was like, I know, I know. So anyway, crazy, 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 right? Hey, David, thanks for waking up. I know you were woken up by that earthquake. And Bobby, she needs to get up soon. I know that she isn't up, up anytime. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate your, your two cents. And I, I want to let you all know at 8.30, we're going to be talking to the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. And then at 9 a.m. this morning, we're going to be talking to the state seismologist. So we have a lot of interviews coming up. We want to keep you informed about these earthquakes. David, again, thank you for ch chatting with us. I need to toss it on over to your colleague.